This is Damian McNamara, Global Medical News Network, at the American Academy of Dermatology Annual Meeting. And with me is Dr. Julie Harper of the Dermatology and Skin Care Center in Birmingham. Now, at this meeting, you're talking about hormonal contraceptives and why it's important to consider when dermatologists prescribe these for acne. Uh, can you tell me why that's controversial? Well, first of all, having hormonal therapy is so important to us in dermatology because acne is very common in adult females. Uh, so when we're talking about hormonal therapy, we're only talking about really half of the patient population, our female patients. But that's a really tremendous part of the acne population that we see. Why is it controversial? Well, I think there's two different reasons. One is that we in, in dermatology traditionally have not done those well woman exams like a pelvic exam and a pap smear. And so there's still a lot of hesitance or resistance to prescribe a birth control pill or an oral contraceptive even for acne without first doing those types of exams. And we do have evidence and support that you don't have to do those kinds of exams in order to safely prescribe a birth control pill to treat acne. So I'd say that's one. The other is that these have risk, like every medication that we use. It's just that in dermatology, we're more comfortable with the risk of our psoriasis medicines or our acne medicines and not an oral contraceptive pill. So knowing those risks and then knowing how to pick and select your patients to avoid those risks is really paramount. So what are the, the biggest concerns in terms of adverse events or risks that you're talking about with these agents? Well, certainly the biggest risk, the one that you hear the most about, that doesn't happen very often is a risk of venous thromboembolism. So any type of vascular event, whether it be on the venous side or on the arterial side. So in terms of relative risk, though, you're saying that's actually considered pretty light. It's a serious event if it's it happens. It's a serious event if it happens, but the likelihood is very low. So, for example, in a woman who is not on an oral contraceptive pill, she has about a 3 per 10,000 woman year risk of having a venous thromboembolic event. So 3 per 10,000 woman year. A woman on an oral contraceptive pill has probably an 8 to 9 per 10,000 woman year risk. So some might say the risk is tripled, right. but when you keep in mind that denominator overall, this is still a very low risk. So you have to look at the absolute numbers. That's, that's right? correct. Right. That's correct. Do you have a, a take-home <coughs> message for dermatologists about prescription of these oral contraceptives? I think the take-home message is if you're not prescribing these, you probably should be, and, and we oftentimes take, take the time to learn new things as we go along in practice. Many people didn't start out doing Botox, but they've learned how now. So I would challenge people to get comfortable using an oral contraceptive therapy. You really can help a lot of individuals who have acne that's otherwise resistant to treatment. This has been Damian McMurray, Global Medical News Network.